Hi, this is Ged Mayhew once again with another linear sketch tutorial and today we're going to be taking a look at techniques you can use with Linea's transparency masking to speed things along and uh, really have fun actually recoloring your sketches and drawings in a quick and easy way um, that you couldn't do previously in Linea. And uh, I, I'm finding that this is one of my favorite features now in Linea Sketch. And so I wanted to show you some real quick things you can do. Um, here I have a, uh, a sketch I've done of a little kitty cat. And the sketch is broken down into three layers currently. There's the top layer, which is the line work for the kitty's face. And then there's the line work for the rest of the kitty's body. And you can see the underlying coloring, the fill layer at the bottom. Transparency masking is a great way to recolor parts of a sketch quickly and easily. Like, say for instance, we want to change the color of the outline of the kitty. And I'm saying like, okay, I've, I've sketched it and then I decide that mm, black is too heavy and I don't really like the way that that feels or I want to change the tone of the overall drawing. So what we can do is we select the layer that has, we want to select the, the, the stroke of the outline around the kitty cat and we're going to open the layers palette and then we're going to tap the, the masking button. And you can see that the outline flashed uh, yellow there to let you know that that is the content on the layer that is about to be edited. Transparency masking basically is saying don't touch any pixels in the drawing that are transparent when I'm drawing. So what we're going to do is I'm just gonna I'm gonna select the pen tool and then I'm gonna pick a color and I'm just gonna start sketching inside. And you can see that I'm only coloring the, the content of that layer. Um, we can zoom in and you can see what's going on there. I'm going to undo that and I'm going to pick another color. I'll pick a purple and do it again so that you can see better what's happening there. So what I'm basically doing is I'm just coloring the one stroke and that's it. And I don't have to worry about going outside the lines or anything else like that. You know, that's it's really super simple and easy. If I want to color just a portion of it, I can do that and do just color it myself. You know, and that's they're pretty cool. But the best part about it is that Linea responds to this mode with any tool that you have. So say I want to color all the entire outline all at once. Well, the, the best way to do that is to grab the paint roller and then simply draw around the whole shape and then the outline is recolored. And do it a different color so you can see that in process. I'm going to do this and you can see that just that portion is filled in the mask which is really great. You don't have to even touch anything. As long as your content is set up correctly on the layers, you can do this really, really quickly. And I'll do it again and do the entire kitty cat. You can see, I'm gonna pick purple now and do this. And it instantly changes the tone of the drawing. Um, you can get some really nice effects with transparency masking changing this kind of effect. And I've left the strokes in his face on their own layer so that I'm not affecting them. They're on the and they're on the topmost layer. So when I'm doing this, I'm only changing the, the pixels on the outline layer, not his face at all. And so if, again, if you work that way and you set up your drawing so that you can recolor stuff, you know, how if you plan ahead, then it really turns out to be something that's that's really neat. And I'm going to do one more time. I'm going to pick a different tan. I'm going to color him this, this outline the same color as his spots. Yeah. And so he's now he's like, he's very soft and a lot more friendly than he was when he was all outlined in black. Um, it seemed more like a, a duo tone uh, drawing than a, a multicolored drawing. Um, and this is just one one way you can do this. So I'll show you another thing. So let's close this. And now we're going to go 
to another one that I've got prepared of this inchworm. And I've done something similar along the same lines where his outline, his outlines are in the top layer. And I've already gone in with transparency masking and I've colored portions of the outline according to the fill. So I have a green section of his body and I have a green section of the outline. I have a, an orange reddish section of his body and an orange, darker orange outline. And so now I want to add shading to his whole body. Okay, well, I've got a blank layer up here in the corner and I'm going to grab the, the watercolor brush and I'm going to pick, let's say, a dark green. And I'm going to go and I'm just going to start shading. Let's pick a bigger one. With the watercolor brush. Yeah. Now, you can see when we zoom in that the green that I picked to shade with works great on the green section of his body, but it doesn't work so great on the red sections of his body. So normally you'd have to go in, erase this part, grab a dark red and shade that portion itself. But then you end up with areas where the, the stroke isn't continuous and it, it's kind of a mess. You know, but with transparency masking, what I'll do is I'll turn on the, the mask for that layer. Then I'll go and grab a darker red. And then I can, let's grab the pen tool and grab a thick pen. And I can shade just the red portions of that watercolor brush stroke. And you can see the difference between the red tonal area and the green tonal area. You can see outside there the difference from where I'm painting in the mask with red versus green. And I can even do this really even quicker again with the fill tool, the paint roller tool. So I grab the paint roller tool and I'm going to draw a section that covers that red area and it converts it to red. And I'm going to do it again. And now I've got the proper hue on these areas without having to redraw or restroke those portions of the sketch. And now I can just, you know, I'm going to go and erase. And then I can just go ahead and erase the, the part that outline that is outside that I don't need anymore. And even another quick tip. You know, this will be covered in a different tutorial, but we can turn on clear ink and grab the paint roller and I can just stroke around the parts that I want cleared and instantly remove them. So I don't need any of this. I'm going to remove that. Remove that. And then that. And get that with my finger. And so the result is a, a single stroke that changes hue across multiple background shapes. Thanks to transparency masking. I didn't have to draw a little portion of a red stroke, a little portion of a green stroke, and so on and so on to shade him properly. And that's really awesome. It's, I, really in developing this feature, I've come across some techniques that are really just cool, and that, that is one of them. Um, another, we'll just end on the this, I wanna shade his eye, his strokes around his eyes, and that's in the top layer there. So I'm gonna turn on transparency masking for the top layer, and then I'm gonna grab the pencil tool, and I'm gonna grab a lighter gray, and I'm just gonna, let's go, Like that, I can erase. And so the top of his eye strokes are lighter than the bottom. It's kind of like a gradient and I can even put in more and let's, let's get even lighter gray up there. And it may look like I'm, I'm painting into the background, but let's change the background color. And you can see I'm not, I didn't actually fill his eye with white. So, but you can see that 
I'm actually just shading inside that stroke. And we'll do it over here. And then go back to white bond so you can see the result. And now we've got a, a gradated, a little gradation between the top and the bottom for his eyes. So that is just a real quick, helpful rundown of transparency masking. And um, it just really is the tip of the iceberg about what you can do with this tool. All of Linea's tools can use transparency masking, the, pe the technical pencil, the art pencil, the pen, the markers, the, the watercolor brush, and especially that paint roller so that you can cover and recolor entire areas of your sketch quick and easy. And um, I really hope you really explore it um, because it really is a big time saver. Uh, so that's it. I hope you found this helpful and more next time. Thanks. Bye.